Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as ePass Management System or Curfew ePass Management System. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. Whenever we wanted to travel from a place to place and get a permission, and especially during the pandemic situation, we cannot go to the district offices or where the passes are issued. So for that, we need a digitalized solution to apply from anywhere. So we have developed the Java based web application project where the authorities on the applicants can interact seamlessly through the web based interface and they can apply and just check the process of the applicants and they can approve or reject according to the given information. So in this way this ePass management system is being developed and this is the abstract of the project and here you can see th about the existing system and disadvantages of the existing system proposed system and advantage of the proposed system and here you can see the system architecture we can this of the admin and the user so authorities and applicants and here you can see the user can log in and apply for the epass and the epass application is being managed by the admin and they can approve or reject it and this project is developed in java and it means 8.2 so now let us see the execution of the project so first open netbeans ide 8.2 so now we need to import the project into the netbeans ide 8.2 so just go to the file menu and click open project now go to the source code location of the project where you can find the source code and just select this epass management and click open project now kindly wait till the project has been loaded into the netbeans ide meanwhile let us attach the database in the mysql administrator just click this mysql administrator and log in with the credentials of root and root as the username and password both are root and click ok now in the mysql administrator just click this restore option now you can select this open backup file and go into the source code location where you can find the database folder and select the database and then click the start restore. Now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close. Now you can close this MySQL administrator part because we have successfully attached the database in the MySQL. So now coming back to the NetBeans IDE 8.2. So you can see the project has been loaded into the NetBeans IDE 8.2. So now let us execute the project. So just right clicking and then click run. Now kindly wait till the project has been transferred to the browser part. So now you can see the project home screen, a welcome screen of the project with the project title ePass Management System. So here you can see the options of home sign in admin so first let me go to the admin part so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin both are same with a caps and then click the login button so now it will be navigated to the admin home page so in the admin we have the option of user list so here it is empty because there is no any users and there is no any pass request approved rejected so everything is empty because we are not done anything right now so let me log out from this part so now let me go to the sign in part so this is the user part so here first let me go to the registration and now it will be navigated to the registration page where the applicants or the user should register the details so first let me give a sample data with my name so let me give the name as jp jp and password as jp email id gender, date of birth, marital status, address, and phone number. And now let me click submit. So now you can see the user registration is success message and click OK. So now let me go to the sign in button and then enter the email ID, the password that I have created for the user and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click ok so now it will be navigated to the user home page so here in the user home 
option we will be having the options of e pass request and application status so currently there is no any application of this user so first let me make a request form so just click this request form so here you will be navigated to the e pass request form so that you need to enter the details as so first thing is like reason so what is the reason of applying so return of stranded people or marriage or medical emergency death government tender binding ongoing government work supervision so whichever the thing you wanted you can just select it let me select medical emergency and you can see at be asking for the travel range so you are going to travel within the district or within the state or transit so now let me select as uh, within the district so which state from you are so it will be asking from where to where you wanted to travel so here you can see all the state details like andhra pradesh or Nachal pradesh assam bihar chandigarh dadra nagar Havali, damananda you delhi goa gujarat haryana himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir jharkhand karnataka kerala madhya pradesh maharashtra manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland Orissa, Puducherry, Punjab, Rajasthan, Sikkim, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Tripura, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. So let me select, for example, let me select Tamil Nadu. So once if you select Tamil Nadu, here you can see the next thing is like it asks for select for the district. So here in Tamil Nadu, what are the districts available? You can see all the details. So here you can see. Arielur, Chennai, Koyamutur, Kadalur, Dharmaburi, Dindakal, Erod, Kanjiburam, Karur, Krishnagiri, Madurai. So all the districts have been displayed. So for example, if I am selecting Andhra Pradesh. So here you can see the district like Anandapur, Chitturi, Skodavari, Gondo, Krishna, Kornol, Prakasam, Srikakulam. So all the things will be uh, according to the state that we are selecting. For example, if I am selecting Karnataka, it selects all the district accordingly. So in this way we have developed for all the district and the states or the union territory. So now let me select for example for this scenario I will be showing for the Tamil Nadu. So now let me select from Chennai. So to which state. So the same thing applies for the two also from I have selected and that is which applied to the two part also. Let me select Puducherry. So in the Puducherry I will select Pondicherry. So it asks for the travel date. So which date you wanted to travel with. So let me select it 27th and applicant name is default whichever we have given during the registration part. So we cannot change that. So application gender is also default that is already been selected. So let me uh, update the father's name or mother's name and number of passengers to applicant proof you wanted other card water id or driving license so let me select other card so let me uh, what is the id proof of the number so now let me enter a random id proof number and what is your vehicle number so py01 bf 8697 so this is my number i'm entering here and here you need to upload the required document so now let me enter a sample image for under that so this photo should be under 500 kb if you are giving higher size photo it may show some uh, error in it so just click this after entering all the details kindly check and then click the submit button so now you can see the application submitted successfully message and click ok so now if you go to the application status you can see the application number is generated and what is the reason and passengers details only the important thing is being shown in the applications and here you can see the important that is status now it has been waiting because it should be approved by the authority or the admin part so now let me log out from this part and now let me go to the admin part so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and the login and if you go to the user list so earlier you could have seen it was empty now there is one user is created with the name jp email id and all the things so that is being shown what is the registered date and time so here you can see 25 7 2023 so the date and time when the user is registered that it has been shown in the user list part now coming to the important part that is a e-pass request so here you can see the application number applicant all the details whatever the user has given it has been shown and here you can see the status has been waiting because this authority or admin should approve or reject it so now let me click the approve button so now you can see the e-pass has been granted message and now if you go to the approved part you can see who are all the people 
they have been approved things that is been segregated to the approved part with the details of the application number applicant name reason and the range district and travel date and the all the details of it and status you can see is approved so now if you go to the e-pass request it is empty because there is no any pending request so in the ejected there is no any rejected things because we have not rejected anything so now let me log out now if you go to the user part so now i'm signing into the user part So in the user part, if you go to the application status, you can see the status is now being changed to approved because the authority has approved this application status. So now you can copy this application number and if you wanted to download this application, just click this download application. It asks for the application number. If I am giving some wrong numbers, so you can see it is wrong. It is showing it is wrong. So now let me give the correct application number and click download. So now you can see the application, whatever we have given, it is shown. So now if we click print, you can save to PDF and click OK. Now let me go to the desktop and then click save. So now you can see this the e-pass application, the status which is approved and what is the reason, the travel range, everything has been updated in this pdf format so they can easily take this as a proof or they can all or show that in the online itself so now let me log out from this user part so now let me create an other user so name is xx password as xx and email as xx at gmail.com date of birth an address as Hyderabad phone number as and click submit so now the user is registered successfully and go to the sign in part xx at gmail.com this is the new user I have created and login so now the login is success now go to the e-pass request and now let me select uh, uh, a reason for this travel within the state select the state as let me select Telangana and district let me select Hyderabad to the state let me select as Andhra Pradesh and to the district let me select uh, Kadapa and uh, travel date let me select it as uh, 26 and applicant name these things are default let me name for the name the triple y the number of passengers as two proof as other number and id proof as one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and vehicle number let me give some number and now let me upload some document for this and then click submit so now you can see the application submitted successful message and click ok so now if you go to the application status you can see it has been the waiting state now let me log out and go to the admin part so now let me log in into the admin and go to the user list here you can see the second user which i have created has been updated here and now if you go to the e-pass request that is a pending request of the user which i have created now this time the authority is going to reject it for some reason so you can see e-pass has been rejected message and if you go to the approved part you can see the e-pass approved list which is done to the user jp and if you go to the rejected part you can see the applicant name xx has been updated in the E pass actually so in this way the applicants the whichever uh, been approved or rejected has been segregated and it is shown to the authorities now let me log out and go to the user part so in the user application status you can see the status has been now modified to rejected and now if they download the application so you can see the details so now let me name it as a different name as download2.jsp and save it and now if you open this you can see the status has been rejected so now let me 
log out from this part and this is all about the project ePass management system of a few ePass management system using Java and thank you for watching.